Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Decades of Cooking where we will be taking a little adventure in cooking. It's simple, it's easy, it's effortless and it is delicious. Decade, effortlessly delicious. And so today we're going to to beautiful and simple shrimp salad. So today, um, oh, before I begin guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Decades of Cooking again. Uh, please subscribe. Let's grow this channel decades of cooking so that you know cooking can be an adventure for everyone All right, so today um, we're going to begin with um, the shrimps uh, We bought uh, the shrimps that are shelled and not the vein So we're going to do a little bit of de shelling and and de veining of those shrimps So first you take a sh you take one of the shrimps with the shell you open it up just follow me and um, once you open it up you remove the shell all around the shrimp then once you've done that you make sure you have a knife a sharp enough knife you take your knife you slice on the back of the shrimp just as i am doing and you look for that little black vein just a little black vein sometimes a little clay also and then you just pull it out and that's it voila it's very simple all right and that is how we devein the shrimp so we're going to go ahead and devein all of our shrimps So once we've now we've had all of our shrimps properly deveined, we're going to go to our next phase. And our next phase is just to marinate our shrimps because you do not want food. Remember, our um, slogan is, you know, effortlessly delicious. So we don't want to make it a, a, an arduous task. And so just uh, very simply what we do is um, we use our decade pestonate and again pestonate is uh, one of the products that uh, is manufactured by my company decade and so you just take this very flavorful all natural no preservatives absolutely zero preservatives loaded with flavors all different types of flavors and so you just take about two tablespoons of uh, pestonate you drop it in the shrimps I like to eyeball sorry because I've been cooking for such a long time but you can use two tablespoons and if you're you know sodium conscious you don't have to because it does have some sodium but not overly sodium uh, it's not salty it's not a salty product so you probably want to add a little more salt and so you can add a, a quarter of a teaspoon more of salt if you're big on the sodium you like it a little bit more on the sodium side you can add half a teaspoon of um, sodium all right and then once we've done that, we take a lemon, lemon, we cut it in half and we squeeze the juice of one lemon, half a lemon, sorry, in our mixture and we mix it around. It, uh, you know, we, once we've um, mixed everything together, then we cover it with some plastic. You can stick it back in the refrigerator and you leave it for about 15, I would say 10 to 15 minutes. It's up to you. you can, some people can do half an hour. The reason being, if you keep it for too long, you know, the thing about shrimps is that it is such a, a, a tender fleshy fleshed meat that it can start cooking the lemon can start cooking the meat and you don't want to overcook your shrimp because it'll get tough very tough so while our shrimps are marinating right now um, we're gonna get uh, some other little crispy uh, vegetables to add to it and so we're taking one stalk of celery some fresh parsley and uh, a three three cloves of garlic that we're going to crush so we're going to crush these cloves of garlic we're going to um, dice the uh, celery and we're going to just you know um, chop the uh, not fi not too finely roughly chop the parsley so we prep that and we we keep it on the side for the shrimps now after the about 15 minutes of marinating 10 to 15 minutes of marinating our shrimps we uh, use a cast iron skillet and you add your uh, cooking skillet on high heat then you use about uh, uh, 
two teaspoons of um, olive oil or a teaspoon depending on your choice and you heat it up for about I would say three to five minutes once it's heated you can go ahead and pour your shrimps into the oil in the skillet the hot skillet and you just let it um, start sizzling and remember it's shrimp so it's not gonna take that long to cook don't leave it that long because it's gonna get very tough after about just about three minutes of cooking the shrimps is they, they've gotten kind of pink and reddish whitish um, the opaqueness is gone, the translucent nature is gone, it has become opaque. Um, you can now add the chopped veggies on the side, the garlic, the celery and parsley in there. Yes, and you just mix it around. Again, if you want to, you know, again, enhance it a little more, you can add another, uh, the, the juice of half a lemon in there, but you don't have to because it already has lemon, but it's up to you. And uh, you just mix it around. It's up to you how wilted you want it to get. I would mix it around for maybe about one more minute. And remember, it's a cast iron skillet, so it tends to keep a lot of heat. And then once you've done that, you can add, um, just add a little olive oil in there to add it up, to, you know, just balance off all the flavors. And that's it. After about five minutes, you should have properly cooked shrimp, well seasoned and proper and very good, very easy tasting or beautifully tasting. And again, that wasn't that much effortlessly delicious, remember? And so we have our shrimps that are ready for our salad. Now for our salad, uh, it's very simple. I bought a bag of um, organic um, greens, which has like lettuce and some kale and some spinach. It, it makes up to you. If you have a preference for lettuce, green veggies, you can go ahead and do that. I always wash, even if I buy it from the bag washed, I'll still wash and, and try my, my, my um, green lettuce type um, veggies. And then I had some grape tomatoes. I cut them in half. I have them and um, some sweet corn um, that I also had. I used the frozen corn, but I just put them in the microwave for about a minute or two to heat them up, let them thaw out and drain them, let them get dry. And then I also have this avocado, lovely avocado. This is not a Haas avocado. This is um, a Florida, Floridian or Florida avocado. You can use whichever one you want. It's perfectly okay. It's they're delicious and, and they're just really good at this time of year. So just go ahead and you can slice it. You can chop it however you want in there. And you get some red tomatoes to enhance the flavors of the shrimp and the avocados. And that's it. And you can create a beautiful salad, um, shrimp salad for your dinner, for your lunch. You can also do it for your family, a family gathering. It's beautifully presented, vibrant colors. Uh, the rest of the um, of your your seasonings from the shrimp, you can use it as the dressing, which I which I would do. You can add again. You can just go ahead and add a little bit more oil and uh, probably a little bit more lemon juice to thin it out a bit. And you can just pour it all over your your um, salad. And there you have it. Very simple, effortlessly delicious, bursting with flavors. Uh, shrimp salad. Very, very simply done. Thank you guys. Appreciate uh, you listening. Uh, thank you for thank you for listening. Please continue to follow me. Um, decades of cooking, uh, where we will delve into so many simple recipes, yet delicious, effortlessly delicious. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Uh, you can find the recipe on the bottom of the um, video. So don't go, if, if you want to try, please feel free to do that. Go ahead and do that. Okay.